Well, as a teacher, he was like what he is as a pope. It's just that we saw that sooner. Uh, one of the reasons that his students were so happy to have him elected was that he was very poorly portrayed in the press when he was prefect of the Congregation for the Doctrine of the Faith. Uh, but we knew what he was really like. Uh, and once he became more a public figure, everyone saw that. When he became Archbishop of Munich Freising in 1977, uh, he had about 50 graduate students, most of whom had doctorates already, but others are still working on it. And uh, I wasn't one of the ones involved, but some of the students and then Professor Ratzinger decided to have a Schuler Kreis, a kind of a group of former students that would meet every year. So we'd pick a theme, we'd invite one or two uh, presenters, We'd spend a weekend together at a monastery. We'd have mass together, recreation, meals, and two or three seminar classes. So every year, there was an opportunity there to uh, get to see him and spend time with him. Uh, and then different students would have various projects to work with him on. I was involved in Casa Balthazar in Rome. Uh, he was the protector of that, the cardinal protector, and there were four of us priests. So we met with him every year for about half a day, every February for about 10 years. Oh, <laughs> my